Good evening. A warning tonight from Staffordshire Police. If you take guns, even if they're fake, onto the streets, prepare to be challenged by firearms officers. It comes after Hanley City Centre had to be sealed off when teenagers were seen waving guns in a crowded shopping area. It turned out the weapons were BB guns, not real firearms. Here's our Staffordshire reporter, Liz Copper. Running through a busy city centre, this was the scene which prompted shoppers to call police. It looked as though guns were about to be fired on the street. This is one of the firearms teams which responded, along with police dogs and a helicopter. In fact, there were no real guns, but police have this message for parents. If your children are or teenagers are in the public domain with these imitation firearms, whether it's BB guns or something they shoot tin cans in the back garden, is that the tr truth of the matter is they could be faced with armed officers challenging them and they could be looking at armed officers with handguns and firearms themselves, challenging your, challenging your child and asking them you know, quite, quite clearly to put the weapon down. It was here in the Stafford Street area of Hanley where the police operation unfolded. Shoppers have backed the police response. I mean, there's families walking around with children and so on. And, well, it's just beyond me. And I think the police, were, well, I mean, they had to, didn't they? They had to respond. It's just in, a bit intimidating. I mean, we're, I felt quite safe but in the, in the shop, but I can imagine shoppers would have been totally put off. This incident was captured on CCTV, and it was BB guns that the police seized. This is a BB gun. It fires small plastic rounds. It's quite heavy, though, and its design is exactly the same as a real handgun. This is a reputable dealer selling BB guns and air rifles. Its owners comply with the strict legal restrictions on customers buying these weapons. They have to be 18. They have to be. They have to have proof of their ID, a visual ID, a driving license, and a, and a, a document to say where they're from. So it is quite exhaustive. You can only go so far, but you can then go onto the internet and just buy them. These teenagers have been bailed pending further inquiries. But the police message is clear. Oh, police! Oh, police! This will be their response if they think guns are on the streets. Liz Copper, BBC Midlands Today, Stoke on Trent. And our special correspondent, Peter Wilson, is here in the studio this evening. Are you surprised by these warnings from Staffordshire Police? I'm not surprised at all. In fact, BB guns, ball bearing guns, can be lethal over the past 20 odd years. Some 15 young people have been killed by playing with these guns. This whole situation was brought home to me a number of years ago when I was reporting gun crime in Birmingham. I was in a street that the police had cordoned off because of a gang shooting. Just in the same street there was a couple of boys playing with plastic black um, toy guns and it struck me that these looked like the real thing to armed officers just around the corner. Have police actually made a mistake and shot someone carrying a fake firearm? Well, a number of years ago, uh, police in London actually shot a man carrying a, a table leg down the, down the street because they thought that was a weapon. But this routinely happens in America. In fact, a 13-year-old boy was shot dead by brandishing a BB gun in the streets just last year. And just briefly remind us about the law here. If you're under 18, you're not allowed to buy BB guns. You also need... Uh, to be a member of a particular club. But they're also saying that if you appear in public carrying this, that's against the law. Peter, thank you. Parts of Birmingham city centre were brought to a standstill this afternoon as a fire at the wholesale market sent huge plumes of smoke into the air. The blaze was quickly brought under control, but there's still uncertainty about when the market will reopen. Our reporter, Joanne Rittle, is there now. So uh, what exactly happened, Joanne? Well, this fire broke out just after two o'clock when piles of wooden pallets and cardboard boxes used to store the fruit and veg here at the wholesale market went up in flames. It looked really dramatic, plumes of smoke all over the city centre. At the height, about 40 firefighters were fighting this fire and parts of the city centre looked unusually quiet as roads were sealed off and areas evacuated.